everyone, it is me, Grady. Today, here is how to make a really good, um, uh, three, well, no, a really good, like, I guess, three game, okay. Here's what you want to do. First, you want to paint a sprite. This will be your background, okay? So first, like, here's how to make, like, it really, really good. First thing you want to do, let's make that, we'll make this a gray background, yeah, like that. And we want to get the line to, and we want to make the brush as skinny as possible. Just make the line and an X like that. Next thing, you want to dye that black. I know it looks kind of creepy, but it'll be used later. So let's just make this first. Now I'm going to be showing two methods today. So this is method one. You want to, yeah, right about here. And then we're just going to set this. So here's how it works. So go to, well, let me just type this. Zero, zero, zero. So watch this. You in the going to have clicked. So let's just click the green flag, yeah. And then the next thing we're gonna do to make us look like we're in a hallway is we are going to do a little thing like this. Set size to zero. Right, so we're just gonna do that. We'll also need these size blocks. They'll come in handy later. There. Next thing we want to do is to make a mini map. To make your mini map. Okay. So you want to draw a square. Or no, no. No, no, sorry. Sorry. Uh, you want to take one of the boxes. Make a long, skinny thing. Just like long, skinny hallway. And then you fill it in with gray. Gray for my example, you can do anything. And then that's the hall. So here's how it's gonna work. Next thing you wanna do is get a player. For this example, I'm just gonna make a little arrow. This is like a kind of ray casting. But I mean, you don't necessarily need the map. Map to like help you. You just. So here's your character guy. And make him small until he's about good enough to fit in your hall. Then we'll. What? Okay, I'll be up there in a sec. Okay, sorry about that. My lunch is ready. Um, so watch this. So this is the hallway. You, it depends on the speed of this, how far you get it to here. So, here's how it will work. We are going to do this little thing. So, here's how our mini-map works. Uh, we are going to, when the green flag is clicked, go to this X and Y coordinate, wherever you're placing your mini map. Um, and like that. Uh, so right there. This is how, this is the link of the hall. Oops, uh, let me put that back. Uh, hold on. Yeah. And then this, we'll go, we'll just figure it out. Okay. Uh, I, I don't know how it looks. Okay. Here, here's what we want to do. Here's my super awesome method. So we're gonna hide it, and then we're gonna, er, we're gonna hide it, and then we're gonna show this right there. That's how. That's my trick. 
So this, I'm just doing this in case I want to move it. I don't know why. So just go to that X and Y coordinate. What we want to do next is to have the guy do something amazing. So you can only do up and down arrows so far. Up arrow and down arrow. So I'm going to point in direction 90 for this and then point in direction minus 90. Yeah. So that's what we want. So Okay, and also we want to center this. It's center here. Yeah. Save now. So it's then so it's this well, we'll change the x and y coordinates. You don't want it hang off, hanging off the thing. So, this, so, you don't even need to do the mini map. I'm just doing it. You should do it. It looks better. But I mean, like, if you, if you don't feel like doing the mini map, that, 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 that's it. So up arrow, down arrow. Up. Yeah. That's perfect. Okay. Here's how this works. What we want to do is we want to do change y by 10. This this y axis will change. It might change. I don't know. It might, it may, it may not. So then what we want to do is also the speed of the character. I told you these size blocks would come in handy. So we also here one and up and down arrow key press block in here you'll see why chain size by minus 10 and chain size by 10 boom so look but look so that's not what we want to do minus 10 sorry so let's try this again. Oh, and we'll also need to point in direction 90 when we start the game. So, so now he's at the end of the hallway. This would be the end of the hallway. Let's go back. That's the end of the hallway. So that is what we're going to be programming with. So. What we want to do is this. If, or if, uh, we'll do this. If, we need a size block. If size uh, is greater than, and we'll have to figure out the actual size right here. If size is greater than, This depends on your thing. It says it is greater than that, we'll change it by minus 10. And that's what we want to do. We just want to do that. It's simple. It's really, really simple. Look, look, watch this. And look, it won't do that. But next thing we want to do. Oh, crud nuggets. I am so sorry. So, so sorry about that. I just. That's. That's just. My it's not me. I don't mean to do that. Here. Um, I don't mean to do it. Let me just fix this. Sorry. You're getting confused here. Really, really sorry. I just, just that. 